We're here. I love seeing our seniors. I love seeing oh, this brother right here. He's got a sign. It's happened to my America, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, I love seeing all of you because it's uh, it's important. This is this is good stuff right now. This is an energy that is infectious. It's contagious. It's organic because it's coming to you. And I think uh, the comments that have already been made uh, really just touch just the tip of what's going to be happening certainly this November, but more importantly, what we need to do between now and then. So uh, I really appreciate it. Jude, you've got one. I, I noticed that when, you, when, they, when the folks started connecting all the dots, because radio personalities, you never see them. Right. It's, it's just the voice and the, and the call letters. And what they do, as soon as you said the call, everyone went, Ooh. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you do every day. Sue was here, Sharky. Oh, she stepped out. Well, we want to make sure we are out there fighting for Sue because I'll tell you, the educational piece is a huge piece. We've got a lot of our young folks here, particularly those who are, are going to be going into the educational system uh, down the road, you know, in a few years. We want to make sure that uh, good educational principles are being applied there, not those government standards that we all know are a little bit wacky uh, from time to time. Uh, so let's get behind Sue and, and help her uh, as much as possible because it's important. It's very, very important to do that. And also, uh, where's Scott go? Scott, he was just... He just stepped out. He stepped out. Okay. Yes, Scott and I love it. They're campaigning. This is good. <laughs> this is good. Scott's absolutely right about the Secretary of State project. Uh, it was something that was put together uh, a few years ago and has had a profound impact on races around the country. Uh, and so, if look at it this way, if that project had existed five years earlier, Florida probably would have had a different outcome uh, for uh, the presidency of the United States. The statewide races, ladies and gentlemen, matter. They matter a lot. Uh, and so please help our statewide candidates out uh, as much as possible, particularly in those offices other than governor, because they tend to get forgotten in the shuffle. We need governors, too. Well, I'm going to get the governors involved. <laughs> but my point is, when you're running for secretary of state or state treasurer or comptroller or other statewide offices, you know, you're kind of caught in between things. So let's focus like a laser on everyone who's got that R behind their name that's running this year, making sure you get them across the finish line. And in the process, fire Pelosi. There you go. Uh, and certainly, I, I also want to acknowledge um, uh, a number of folks who are here. Certainly, Bill Abernathy, who's the head of our what? Brett, sorry, Brett. <coughs> Brett Abernathy is the head of the YR is here uh, in this area. Thank you so much for uh, your leadership in getting the young Republicans organized. The college Republicans I met a little bit earlier. Raise your hand, college Republicans in the house. Folks <laughs> are on our front line. They are on our front line. They're out there. They're engaging on college campuses and the community. Uh, and, and doing things that are going to be very, very beneficial to us down the road. So I really appreciate you guys stepping up and stepping in. And, and I know, Brett, that, you know, with the wires, they've got jobs and careers and all that stuff is starting. But, you know, pulling that team together, I know, takes a lot of work and time. And we salute you and thank you for the hard work. could not be here, but uh, with your effort and with your help, your organization, and your fight, Dan Mays will be your governor in November. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's, let's get busy. Let's get busy about the work of pulling the party together, strengthening our efforts behind our nominees. Uh, as you've already seen in places like Delaware and elsewhere, when you try to create fissures and fractures, it doesn't help the overall goal of winning. And we need to be in the frame of mind of winning. See that big sign up on that wall right there? That's all we need to think about. It's not, it's not personal anymore about you know who's standing next to whom and who finished first or last in the primary and who won, who lost in the primary or what. Right now we're in the zone. We are on in, in the red zone. We're on the 10 yard line, not the 20. It's the fourth quarter. It's two minutes left, 
and you got to figure out how to get that ball into the end zone. And you've got a lot of touchdowns to score in this state. So let's get focused on...